Good morning and welcome to another day of classroom setup. It is just around 9.45, got here a little later than normal, but that's okay because I don't have a ton to do today. I actually might even combine this vlog with the next day, we shall see. But I have a very limited list of things that I want to accomplish today. I want to keep it short, keep it quick because I did the math this morning. I only have 12 more days of summer left. And if I don't have to spend full days in my classroom, that would, that would be great. That would be ideal. So the things that I need to do today. First up, I need to assemble my flip calendar. I got my curtain rod in the mail yesterday, so I will put that all together. Also made the adjustments to my dojo shopping prize area and I made a little heading for it. So I will attach those. And I did finally print those new, um, classroom hub signs so I will hang those on the back board as well and I think if I'm not mistaken that that that, that is it so like I said 9 45 I'm just gonna dive right in and we'll see how long it takes me today Okay, I'm getting really annoyed with this already. I should not have started with this job. So these are magnetic curtain rods. I put a command hook on instead. The magnetic backing is peeling off. This is trash. I also decided to switch out the rings on these ones because I thought it would like help them all fit a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna switch all of them to those bigger rings. I think it'll be better in the long run. But now I'm facing the problem of it being really hard to flip because the pieces of paper are like too big between the board and the thing and it's just like kind of a pain okay like that one went smoother than normal but like i don't know it feel i feel like it needs to be farther oh there that goes oh uh, i'm gonna cry we are not crying today folks i figured something out here's what we figured out so i was looking around my room i'm like why is there hardly anything magnetic in here i realized that my door frame is magnetic so i took off the command strips hung it up just with the magnets and it's perfect because the glass is farther back than where the frame is so that it has tons of room to flip freely without scraping the only thing i had to adjust was that i had to take out the dashes in between the month day and year um which i mean it's okay because there's enough space in between them that they can differentiate that um, it was just too narrow of a space to include those dashes, but I think it looks fine. It's lower down so that the kids can reach it and like the teacher helper can flip it for the next day. It's going to be great. My apologies for the momentary freak out. My plan wasn't working. I was getting stressed. We're good. We got it. I'm going to head on back to my classroom hub and start getting that together. That job went so much smoother no issues last thing i need to do is redo my dojo prizes i do have some letters that i need to exacto knife out the middle of and then i'll hang them up It is updated. I do need to rewrite some of the prices on there and maybe change a couple, I'm not sure. But I think it turned out nice. It's funny seeing how much that old orange faded from the new ones that I printed out. All right, that's all I needed to accomplish today. I'm gonna head out. It's been just over an hour. I will definitely combine this with the next vlog. So, see you soon. I am back and ready for another day of classroom setup. It's been about a week since my last vlog. Um, just taking some time to enjoy summer, you know. Um, but we're here, it is nine o'clock and I'm ready to get started. I brought some more stuff from home. I also got Starbucks this morning and got like that super, super bougie, uh, TikTok drink. I think it was popular like eight months ago, but 
I had a triple star day today, so I'm like, I can get an expensive drink to rack up those stars. So anyways, like I said, brought a lot of stuff from home. Let me show you what I've got here. I did get some things from my Amazon wish list that I can show you and some other Amazon orders and other random things. I have my students login sheets finally that I can put in our take home folders, which finally got delivered. So that'll be good to get that job done today. I got this from five below. I thought it was really cute and I want to use it in like morning meetings. We're going to be like pass the pizza. So we say good morning and pass it. And it's just cute, you know? Those letter beads came in so I can finally finish up adding the last few letter R's to some of my bags. I got some little cord grippies that I want for my desk so that my laptop cord and my iPad cord can stay up and not fall down behind my desk. And then I think the rest of the stuff is from my wish list. So a girl in my Bible study got me this that I'm going to add to my um, puzzle ball uh, stem drawer. And then my in-laws got me some more Legos for that Lego stem bid drawer and the one and only Ruby, which I'm so excited about. We read the one and only Ivan and the one and only Bob last school year. And we finished the one and only Bob like the last week of school. But I told them like, there's a one and only Ruby, like you should read it over the summer. Um, some of my kids were like, can we just come back next year and you can read it to us? I'm like, that's really cute, but I don't think it's gonna work out. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited to have that. So we'll read that this year. And I think that's everything. So obviously I'm gonna take a moment to get all this stuff sorted. And then I'm going to put a list on the board. Um, I honestly think this might be the last list that I have to make. I am getting towards the end of classroom setup. Like I would say today and another day, and then I'd be good. I let, let me knock on some wood. Cause I, I mean, stuff always pops up, but I feel like I'm starting to run out of things to do, which is crazy. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me get this stuff away. Let me write my list and then we'll, we'll reassess and see what we're gonna do today. That's a very short list. The big thing I wanna to do today is stuff and distribute those take home folders finally. Um, and also putting the window film up. So I have like iridescent cling stuff that I put on those windows. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, and then the other stuff is pretty small. This, my number 31 on my calendar, you might notice is different from the rest. And that is because I lost the number 31 ages ago. And so I like tried to design something that looked as close as I could get to it. Um, and then I was cleaning out my car this summer and I found the number 31. I just left it out in my car, so I need to grab that then. So that's what that is. Um, I do need to find my doormat. I was looking through my Instagram a couple nights ago when I couldn't sleep and I saw when I posted about my doormat and I realized I have not seen that yet this year. So I need to figure out where I stuck it at the end of last school year and put it back out. Um, and then the photo booth is what I do with my kids on the first day of school. I'm still waiting on like my shimmery backdrop to come in from Amazon for that. So I'm not going to be able to fully do that today. And then it's just planning. Holy moly. So let me see now if I can find this doormat. I had it by my sink, uh, last year. So I'm assuming it would be in this region, not in that one, not there. It's got a bunch of science stuff in there. I don't think it could even fit in there if I wanted it to. What on earth? Oh, you know what? It might be in here. Hold on. Oh, there it is! Yay! We got it! So cute! Cross that guy off. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing those folders now. So our secretary stuffed most of the stuff that needs to go home with the kids in there already. Um, there are just a few things that I need to add. I've got their cover pages for the front. There are login sheets for the back. And then we've got like lunch forms that need to go home. So I'm gonna get all that stuff in there and then they'll be good to get in the kids' desks.
All right, so all those folders are stuffed and in the kids' desks. So next job is to do my window film. I gotta figure out, I think it's up in this cabinet. All right, we got it. So whenever I do this every year, I have to reread the directions. Yeah, we're gonna wing it. So the window film is up, looks good. There were a couple of edges where it was lifting up because I was at the end of the roll, but I just put some scotch tape down so hopefully it won't peel off, but I think it looks good. So shortly I'm gonna run out to my car to get that number 31 for my calendar. But before I go out, I wanna see what stuff I have for the photo booth. All right, uh, are you kidding me? Guys. Look what I just found. All the window film from that window last year that I saved at the end of last school year. Cause I was like, oh, then I won't have to cut pieces to size. I'll save these for next year. That is entirely on me though, because I did not put those pieces with all the rest of the rolls of window cling um, in my classroom setup cabinet. So that was done. Okay, photo booth stuff. That's what we're here for. Come on. All right, so I've got my number three balloon. Um, I need to find the straw. I know I kept it, the straw, so I can like fill it up a little bit more. It's actually not nearly as deflated as I would have expected. All right, and then here is my photo booth frame that the kiddos will hold up. They'll hold this, they'll hold the number three. We'll get a cute pic. I sent it to the parents on the first day. I was dumb and I already erased my list, but the only thing I still have left to do is to hang the backdrop for my photo booth and start planning. Oh my goodness. I decided by the way that I am going to ignore that back bulletin board. I know I've talked about it in like every single vlog so far, but I mean, what's the harm in starting the year with a blank board? You know, I can always add stuff to it. I got a lot of great ideas from you guys in the comments of my last couple videos. So when i am motivated to do it i've got plenty of options to choose from but um i think it's time to start planning guys i didn't think that it was gonna happen so soon it's 10 30. but um yeah it's time so i think i'm gonna start by pulling out my beginning of the year file folder from last school year just to like see what we did last year okay i remember these pennants i designed these and we hung them in the hallway as like our first of the year hallway display. So it's just a spot for the kids to write their favorite things. It's super basic. It was a very quick activity, um, but I don't know. It's cute and colorful out in the hallway. I remember, wait, I think it was the first day of school last year. I remember standing out in the hallway, hanging it up and the second grade teachers down the hall were like, wow, overachiever much? because I was like already putting out a whole display, but it's easy. Okay, we've got a back to school like activity booklet, which will probably be nice to have when the kids finish stuff early throughout the week. We've got welcome to third grade. I'm excited for and I'm nervous about. I think I designed this one that looks like a me thing. We've got let's flamingle, another one. This is like all over the place, but I designed this one because I wanted it to like fit all of my needs. All about me, water bottle stickers, a class family word search. Oh, it's my last year's class. I did make the one for this year, um, but I did not copy it yet because I'm like, what if I get more students? So honestly, I feel like it's pretty safe to copy it now. I've got our class family coloring page with like black letters of all the kids' names that they can color. Oh, how well do you know Mrs. All's house? I think I did this at like the end of the first week um, to see like how well they knew me. Ooh, I know I want this for the first day. My first day of third grade, I will have this on the, their desks when they come in so that 
as they like unpack and everything, they can start coloring these. Ooh, and then this is a really good beginning of the year math activity. I can't remember if we did this first week or second week last year, um, but it is a math mystery packet where they work to solve clues and um, yeah, solve a mystery. So yeah, all those things are pretty solid. I think I'm still gonna like go through TPT and see what other fun new things are out there. Um, obviously look at last year's plans and yeah. I'm like actually getting excited now, which is a really great feeling. Um, honestly, ever since like being back in the room, it's been exciting. Like I'm ready to go back, I think. I think, I say that now. We still have two weeks till the kids come. Okay, so after taking a moment to like think through things, I did start making like a lot of copies and got distracted by things, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here. We are gonna wrap up classroom setup here. I don't think I'm gonna do much more. I don't know, we'll see if another one pops out, but I will, like I said, wrap this one up here. And then in my next vlog, I will talk about like first week stuff, maybe in-service stuff, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this classroom setup series, if this is in fact the end of it. Um, thank you so much for watching them, coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.